Here's a slideshow I did of my western sky. There's a lot of light pollution, but I wanted to show the horizon. Here's the four stars I'm interested in. Canopus, Sirius, Betelgeuse and Procyon. I set Stellarium for the same date and time as my slideshow. Here's the four stars plus Orion's belt. Stellarium and my western sky side by side. Procyon has been cut off. Again, they're moving from top right to bottom left and you might think they're sweeping out concentric arcs, but they're not. I measured the gaps between the four stars in each of the photos in millimetres. The Canopus Sirius gap shrunk and then grew by 2%. The Canopus Betelgeuse gap shrunk 2%. The Canopus Procyon star gap shrank 6%. The Sirius Betelgeuse gap shrunk 6% and the Sirius Procyon gap shrunk 9%. And this will help to clarify. This beautiful Star Trail movie was made by Tony Russo of the Mystical Sky YouTube channel. This was taken in South Australia, and I'm in Western Australia, so our skies are pretty similar. It was made within a day or so of my time-lapse slideshow. I took a screenshot of the first frame of the movie. You can clearly see Orion's belt and Betelgeuse. The other stars are out of frame, but you will see them later in the movie. This is a screenshot of the last frame of the movie. You can clearly see the star trail of Orion's belt is virtually straight. The reddish trail is Betelgeuse. Now, which way are the stars actually moving? All the stars to the left of Orion's belt seem to be moving clockwise in the lower right-hand quadrant of an ellipse. But, all the stars to the right of Orion's belt seem to be moving anticlockwise in the upper left-hand quadrant of an ellipse.